What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another view. And this time, I'm going to be taking a look at Behind the Mask, The Prize of Lizzie Verdon. I am not going to waste no time. I'm going to get right into this thing. I have a lot to say about this movie, and I'm going to try and make this video as short as I possibly can. Behind the Mask is a great fucking movie. What Scream was to the 1990s, this movie should have been for the 2000s. It's got a fresh feel to it. I love the whole concept of this movie pretty much being what would happen if someone was inspired by Freddy, Jason, and Michael and wanted to make a career out of being a killer. This movie takes place in a universe where all those characters are not fictionalized. They're real life. You know, and we get, and there's like a ton of references and cameos by horror icons. You get a Zelda Rubenstein sighting. You got Robert England playing the Dr. Loomis character to Leslie Vernon's Michael Myers. This movie's got so many good things in it. It's just, it's just a marvel to watch. It really is a marvel to watch. The director, Scott Glosserman, clearly had a passion for this product, clearly had a passion for this film. The writer, David J. Stivey, he clearly had a, a vision and an idea on what he wanted to do. And both two and both those two guys put their talents together and we get a damn good underrated movie that should have been a franchise. It's a damn shame this movie never got a sequel. Because this movie begs to have a more expanded universe. <clears throat> The character of Leslie Vernon, played by Nathan Basil, is a good multi-layered character, in my opinion. When we first see Leslie, he comes across as like the world's most nicest guy. He quickly befriends, he quickly befriends the documentary crew. He has a good rapport with them. You know, the movie hints at the fact. You know, the movie shows how he treats them. He treats them with a lot of love, a lot of respect. He uh, shows them the ins and outs of the killing business, which is which is great fun. And I like how this movie had like a very like a very light horror comedy tone, but was never went overboard because everybody plays it because everybody plays it straight, and the movie's all for the better because of that. <clears throat> Another thing I like about this movie is I like I love the relationship between Leslie and uh, the character called Eugene, played by the late great Scott Wilson, R.I.P. Mr. Wilson, who. In this move, and the movie heavily implies that Lou Eugene is actually Billy from Black Christmas. But I like the relationship between the two. You know what I'm saying? You know they have like this father-son thing going on. They also got like a uh, mentor-teacher thing going on. And you can clearly tell that Eugene is both proud and leery of Leslie Vernon's choice to want to get into the killing business. But he 100% supports him, and I love all that. I really love the dynamic and chemistry between Leslie and Eugene. It really works for me and you can tell by looking at the screen that these two guys, they feel like they feel like longtime friends. I love it a lot. Uh, like I said, this movie can sometimes, this movie is, it's done in a mockumentary type format, like a documentary. And again, it's done and Leslie Vernon is, has this documentary crew explaining why he wants to be in the business, you know. he uses the influences of Michael, Freddie, and Jason, who are real life in this movie. I want to iterate it again. Those characters are not fictionalized in this film. They're actually presented as being real life, as being real life people. It would have been cool if we would have seen them, but you know, that's just a fantasy dream, giving studio rights and all that nonsense. But again, as a, but as a standalone movie with all those references, it just makes Leslie Vernon that much better of a, as a film, knowing that those characters do exist and knowing that someone, you know, has idolized them to the point where they want to make a career out of it. And I love how the movie presents it as not a bad, as it presents it as a bad thing, but at the same time, it presents it as if you're trying to get an office job in the way it's structured and the way it's presented. It's really, really clever, and it's really good stuff. Uh, this When this movie goes in actual movie, real, real life movie form, you know, it's got a good, scary atmosphere to it. Director Scott Glossman, like I said, does a really good job at creating some scares. And he also does a good job of maintaining that light atmosphere throughout the film. Even when it gets, you know, crazy, it still has a somewhat light tone to it, which I can appreciate. And I really like, and I, it just adds so much to this movie. Because this is not a dark movie. This movie is a spoof slash tribute to the, to the slasher genre. And it does it in a way where it doesn't mock it. It does it in a way where, like I said, if it's paying tribute to it. And you gotta love a movie like that. You gotta love a movie that knows exactly what it is, and it's just having fun with the concept that it... And it just feels fresh, and it feels original. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's a tons of... There's tons more of what I'm about to talk about with this film, but I want 
you, if you have not seen this movie, to give this movie a watch. Because it is really damn good. And if you're a horror slash, if you're a horror fan, you'll like this movie. If you're a fan of like, you know, spoofs and tributes, you'll love this movie. If you just want to see a different side of the horror genre, then yes, you will like this movie. And I have zero issue giving this thing a solid 10 out of 10. It's perfect. The performances work. The chemistry is real and natural. The scares work. The whole documentary type feel gives it a different vibe. The references and cameos are just so much fun to pick out. I just, this movie's great. This movie is great. <clears throat> I have nothing else to say about the, <laughs> Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. But if you have seen this movie, let me know. If you haven't, let me know. Like the video and subscribe, and I'll check you back next time for more.